Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, we'll be counting down all the new arms race legendaries that were added alongside the Director's Cut add on for Borderlands 3. We received four new legendaries in total, which are definitely harder to get than your average ones. They include the Infernal Wish, a new shield, the Torrent, a Dahl SMG, the Toboggan, an artifact with ties to the Snowdrift, and the Kick Charger, a brand new Vladoff rocket launcher. All of these items are welcome additions to the game, and I'll be letting you know what they do, how you can get peak damage from them, and also tell you which chest has an increased chance to drop them. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, and you could even drop me a follow on Twitter, at Spartan Game Zone. And let's crack into it. Bringing up the rear is the Toboggan, an artifact that has an increased chance to drop from these chests, but I generally find going straight to the heavyweight Harker fight is the quickest method. The Toboggan, like I said in the intro, is similar to the Snowdrift prefix, which you can find on base game artifacts, but it goes beyond that. It doubles your sliding speed and also provides you with a protective bubble that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces all incoming damage by 50% whenever you slide. However, the main draw here is in the amp shots it provides, where each shot will consume the protective bubble to double your single shot damage. It's a great effect that makes you twice as powerful and is definitely more suited to powerful single shot weapons, like rocket launchers or sniper rifles. Without the toboggan, I was unable to take out Greyboard with a single Major Kong round, but when riding the toboggan down his arena, I could do it easily. It's a gameplay loop that consists of sliding to gain the shield and shooting to trigger the amp shots, just rinse and repeat that, and you'll be hitting high damage numbers you never thought possible. Up next we have the Torrent, a dial SMG that likely comes in all of the elements and fires incredibly fast. Like all of these, it can drop anywhere in arms race, but does have an increased chance to drop from this chest. The torrent comes in variants that fire at over 25 rounds a second. Shredder fire step aside, there's a new kid on the block. To synergize with its unbelievable fire rate, it also comes with a large mag size, and is surprisingly accurate, allowing you to mow down foe after foe. Bullets fly from its barrel, breaking the sound barrier and losing their shape along the way. Its projectile pattern doesn't have a negative effect on its performance, and it can blitz an enemy in a very short space of time. Its one downside is its ammo consumption, which is rather high like you'd expect, but there's a lot of reserve in the SMG pool, and should be plenty there to do what needs to be done. In second place is the Infernal Wish, an amazing shield which could easily be number one that has an increased chance to drop from this chest. The Infernal Wish is a shield that is capable of doubling your damage all of the time, but you need to use the right type of gun to get the full effect. When it has some charge in it, it will add one projectile to every shot you shoot, literally doubling your damage, but only if you're using single palleted weapons as for something like the light show. It'll turn those four projectiles into five, which is only a 20% increase in damage. However, it is slightly bugged, and if you're not getting that two for one deal, you'll have to deplete the shield fully and have it recharged before you get that benefit. The extra projectile is only added when the shield has some charge in it, so boosting its capacity is a good way to ensure there's something in it. On top of that, it also can combust, burning you ever so slightly, which is a benefit in many ways, helping you to proc countless abilities especially the elemental protector artifact. Bottom line is, it's a fantastic shield, granted you're using the right kind of weapon that will transform you into an absolute machine. If you thought you were dealing some damage before, then try this on for size. I have a feeling it'll look great on you. In top spot, the place where bad things are not, is the Kick Charger, an elemental launcher that has an increased chance to drop from this chest. The Kick Charger is an untamed beast, an absolute monster, the kind that you don't want hiding in your closet. It fires supercharged elemental beams that penetrate right through your enemies, causing mountains of collateral damage whenever you line them up. 
Like a few other launchers, it comes with a charge mechanic that boosts its damage based on how long you hold the trigger, up until a point. To tell when it's fully charged, the pulse will be let out of its barrel, signifying that the next shot will deal 4 times the damage. To think that this gun has a damage number around 200,000 and only consumes 1 ammo per shot is insane. The arm cannon consumes 6 at least, so this blows that out of the water. It's a walking delete key, just charge it up, point it at your enemy and say goodnight. For the lesser mobs you don't even need to fully charge it, that's a waste of time as even a standard shot will wipe them clean off Pandora. It's a top tier launcher no doubt about it, which is extremely good with ammo and will have your enemies be the lead to your unrelenting eraser. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and learned of all the new arms race legendaries and how they compare to each other. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.